Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And this is another look at a anniversary update feature that uh, is on the Microsoft Edge browser. So first, this video is more about what's basically changed in Microsoft Edge since the uh, last version 1511. So in the anniversary update, of course, you'll get a newer, shinier Edge browser. Um, lots of the changes on the Edge browser are kind of inside the code. So there's a lot of this that is uh, improvements on how the pages are rendered on your screen. Um, another thing is also about uh, how um, many of the web pages use the different technologies in the browser. And basically, um, so you'll have apparently a faster, better browser. Of course, Microsoft is also telling us that as for battery life in your mobile device, the Edge browser is a much better browser, makes, your, uh, makes you save more um, battery. So basically good thing to use. Um, what's also changed? A few new things in the menu. So for example, in the upper right corner, when you click, uh, there's now going to be an option where um, you can, of course, have extensions. And we'll look at that in a separate video. I want to do one exclusively for extensions. Um, of course, there's also the what's new and tips. So for example, when you have a new version or something's upgraded, you have now have this option. You click that go button and it's going to tell you with the latest versions what's new, and what's happening with the browser, uh, depending on um, you know what version you have. Um, other options, well, if you go into settings and um, compare with the last version, um, you still have, of course, the dark theme. You now have directly on the top, so it's kind of uh, been really um, kind of moved around a little bit the way that things are done. Um, for example, you had the dark team, but here you had options. Like you had to put a little dot. Now they've put it in a box where you um, just click what you want to have. And um, basically you just enter. It's, it's kind of easier. You enter, okay, I want to open a specific page. So I'm going to want to put here Google dot uh, CA because we're in Canada and so for example now if I close my Edge browser and uh, turn it back on instead of having the uh, page from Bing that I don't really enjoy having I now have instead my uh, Google page so uh, they, they kind of revamped the way that it's done so it's kind of easier to see um, that is pretty interesting also, of course, open new tabs with there are blank page or top sites. You got to choose what you want. Favorite settings will now have the possibility to import from Firefox. You had the possibility to import from Chrome in uh, 1511. And but Firefox was cruelly missing from here. So you couldn't um, you couldn't import from Firefox. Only Chrome showed up. Now you'll be able to import from Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. So this is uh, something that a lot of people were winning for. How, how do I import from Firefox? It's kind of complex. Of course, the uh, clearing of data, which of course helps you uh, erase cookies and all sorts of things, uh, still there. Um, of course, sync of all of your content. Uh, in 1511, you had sync of your different um, favorites and also some of the settings. But now the syncing is even more pronounced um, in anniversary update. Everything about Chrome, about Chrome, <laughs> about Microsoft Edge is going to be synced across devices. So this is uh, quite nice. And uh, of course, in advanced settings, um, kind of 
a few things once again just changed though they've kind of changed the way the order of things and the way that you choose it on so um, you can of course show the home button let's uh, turn it on here and uh, show what page that you want for once again I want to have a specific page so the home button so that's interesting by the way because their home button can bring you to a different page than your start button so they made a, a difference here between the home and the start button for example so I can actually do this and now I'll have a, the home button here on the upper left you see and I can go back to uh, whatever page uh, the usual um, information about where to download stuff is shown um, it's easier to um, to go through the menus uh, it's easier to see also where things are downloaded in your computer so here you have a, a very um, very easy to, 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 to see okay save downloaded files to download or you can change it and change it to whatever you want easily um, you can also have you know ask me what to do on each so now when you download a file for example before you had like a save or open now it's going to be uh, save save as open it, it's more complex there's more options it's more interesting also because you'll now be able to easily do what you want and uh, save as wherever you want so um, you know all sorts of new little things in the uh, so here, search in the address bar, you can change that, and you can use, I'll use Google search once again, set as default. So now when I search here for something, say I search for flowers, I will have Google search, which is better than uh, Bing for me. So um, nice, you know, browser, it's being improved. Um, the biggest deal for probably most people is the extensions, and we'll take a look at that in the next video so uh, just take a peek at what I will post uh, we'll be taking a look at extensions how to install them and uh, how to uh, you know all the different options that you have available on these extensions in the next video so Microsoft Edge uh, if we look here now this is of course my insider preview but uh, to, to give you an idea of the difference this is the version number Edge is at 38.14390 and if I look at my regular machine, Edge is at 25.10586, so 25.10586. We're kind of at version 38 or something like that. Well, we were at version 25 before. So um, in the uh, Edge HTML as 14.14390, where we were at 13.10586 in the other browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like our videos. There will be tons of anniversary update videos, so you'll see all the new features available uh, for your computer with anniversary update. Hope you enjoy these videos, and thank you so much for watching.